what are the statistical odds of repeated references to pedophilia being included in multiple advertisement campaigns for one particular brand? Basically, completely impossible. This is very, very purposeful, and they've done it because they're trying to give you hints and trying to normalize and show you and tell you what they do. They're doing this because of karmic retribution. Satanists believe if they tell you what they're doing, if they make their intentions clear and you still adhere to them, that they are no longer responsible for the negative consequences of them. That is karmic retribution. I'll give an example. If I have a stall of poisoned apples and I put up a sign that says apples and you buy one, I've poisoned you. But if I have a stall of poisoned apples and I put up a sign that says poison apples and you buy one, now you've committed suicide. I have not poisoned you, you have committed suicide. If you know what I am doing, if you know what I am selling and you still comply and adhere, you are basically saying that all the consequences are erased. That's how karmic retribution works in the satanic world. They are making it extremely clear to you on purpose, little by little, trying to show the world they are pedophilic because that way they will not be punished in the eyes of their God for their crimes. This is not just strange, unusual, some kind of coincidence. No, this is elites telling you that they are absolutely and utterly pedophiles and they are here to see if you are complicit in the actions themselves. Now that you understand that, the question is, what are you really gonna do about it? Boycotting Ben Salanciaga is a fantastic start, sure, but it's the very, very tip of an iceberg and it's a very, very deep and scary rabbit hole. And when you truly understand who is running the world, and you truly understand how fucked up this world is, then you're gonna find out that a larger change than boycotting one particular brand 